The River Heights Chamber of Commerce is proud to honor Beth Bauman with the 2016 Forrest Glevy Visions of Excellence Award. I want to be a lifeguard on the love boat. That's what I always wanted to be, and they just never had one. I'm going to let them use whatever gavel they want. Born and raised in South St. Paul, Beth Bauman's passion for public service took root in her youth. My father told me at a quite a young age that I could be the first woman president of the United States. Sorry, Dad, I'm not going to do that. But And my mother, who is very passionate about things, and so I get that passion from her, and I think the combination of both of them has been great and has given me the confidence to be in public office and, and get out there and work um, for what I believe in and what I, I think um, is necessary in our community. Good evening and welcome to Decision 2016. I'm Beth Bauman. This election was no different. Despite her hard work ethic, integrity, and skill, Beth has not been immune to tough times. In 2008, she was laid off from Wells Fargo, but that didn't stop her. Her friends and staff at the city kept her positive and her networking skills led her to a new position with the Willow Group. Beth's personal philosophy is best expressed by founding father Thomas Paine, lead, follow, or get out of the way. Though Beth's leadership and organizational skills produced decades of professional accomplishments at U.S. Bank, Ameriprise, Wells Fargo, and the Willow Group, it is not these accomplishments she is most proud of. Well, the Mayor's Youth Task Force started out of a problem that we had in South St. Paul that um, kids were doing a lot of drinking, smoking, drugs, uh, not good behaviors. We want to have them be more involved with their community. Deb Griffith, the community volunteer coordinator, and I said, you know, we could have a youth task force that we could work with to try to find things for kids to do. And the goal is to get them to learn some leadership skills, learn how to work within a system to organize something and organize fun things, how to make what they dream of as a fun event into something that they can actually execute. They're helping the community in a lot of these behaviors. So I think it's been very successful. We graduated our first class in 2015. So it, it, that was really cool. Nonprofit and education sectors have also benefited from Beth's generosity and devotion to her community. What I would like to be when I grow up is to be the head of a nonprofit. So that's kind of one of my uh, business goals now that I'm done with the, the mayor gig. Oh, I think I'm gonna miss the kids the most and the people of the community, uh, just seeing them so much. Thank you. As her attention fades away from the mayoral seat, you can be sure that Beth's vision for South St. Paul never will. I still am going to keep a sharp eye on the budget because that's something critical to make sure that we have enough money to do what's necessary in South St. Paul. So look out, Council. I'm going to keep an eye on the budget and an eye on you. Congratulations, Beth Bauman, recipient of the 2016 Forrest Glevy Visions of Excellence Award.